हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैवरिक मरीनर दिस चैनल इज डेडिकेटेड टू ऑल द मरीन इंजीनियर्स गिविंग देयर एमईओ कॉम्पिटेंसी एग्जाम्स आई विल गाइड यू थ्रू वेरियस टॉपिक्स इन माय अपकमिंग वीडियोस स्टे ट्यून्ड टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट MLC 2006 that is Maritime Labor Convention 2006 this video will be on introduction to MLC 2006 MLC 2006 is an outcome of ILO that is International Labor Organization International Labor Organization is an UN body which deals with governments employers and workers to set labor standards develop policies and devise programs promoting decent work for all men and women mlc was adopted in february 2006 it entered into force on 20th august 2013 i repeat it entered into force on 20 august 2013 MLC is the fourth pillar of IMO. All the four pillars of IMO are SOLAS, MARPOL, STCW and MLC. India ratified MLC 2006 on 9th October 2015. Now, what was the purpose of MLC? The purpose of MLC was to standardize seafarers living conditions it generated a platform on international basis to maintain seafarers living conditions mlc has also put all the seafarers right into one place these regulations are enforced on merchant ships on international voyages now let us see the structure of mlc mlc has 5 titles and 16 articles under it Under these titles we will find various regulations as you see on the screen the five titles are title number 1 minimum work requirements to work on ship title number 2 condition of employment title number 3 accommodation recreational facilities food catering etc title number 4 health protection medical care and welfare title number 5 compliance and enforcement in further videos i will talk about each title in details let us see about the certifications which come under mlc 2006 initially an interim mlc certificate is issued by the flag this certificate is valid for 6 months after carrying out surveys and a defined procedure then the flag issues mlc certificate to the ship this mlc certificate has attached copies of endorsed d mlc part 1 and part 2 the mlc certificate is valid for 5 years and is subjected to service namely intermediate survey which is supposed to be carried out in between second and third anniversary of ship then renewal survey which is supposed to be carried out before 5th anniversary of the ship an additional survey is carried out if required dmlc means declaration of maritime labor compliance dmlc part 1 consists of flag rules to follow in order to achieve compliance under mlc 2006 and dmlc part 2 is the owner's declaration that how the ship is following clauses mentioned in part 1 in further videos i will talk about the complete process of obtaining mlc certificates i hope you have liked the video stay tuned like share and subscribe hit the bell icon and never miss your updates and please comment for any suggestions thank you